it's as serious as, as, as somebody say, saying, excuse me, you've got a leak in your boat, excuse me, uh, like a Titanic. Um, the people up, up in first class maybe didn't notice that, uh, that the boat was leaking, but uh, eventually they'd have to accept the fact that the captain was telling them that the boat is, the boat is going to sink. It's not just a, a few uh, uh, over-excitable stokers that say, look, I'm wet, I'm wet, the boat's sinking, the boat's sinking, don't, don't wait, little man. No, no, this can't be sinking, this is the Titanic. Because the ca- until the captain acknowledges that the boat's sinking, then, then some people just won't believe it. What we need is for our good-for-nothing politicians to actually tell the truth for once and explain to people that they, the, the bad situation that through, it's nobody's actual fault, but it is something we all have to now roll up our sleeves and fix. Radio, David Cameron talking about that benefit is enough um, money for people, so we don't need like food banks and stuff. Um, hopefully, people will start taking to the street. Fucking awesome! Um, <laughs> basically, it's like a collection of lights in the sky as you'd imagine and there's a little bit of a I believe it looks like it's a crane of some sort now they're just all doing a little bit of a show and there's kind of like a little little orb that's rotating two other groups of orbs actually it's one orb joining another group of orbs and then they all do this like little bit of fantastic shit and they kind of make a few triangles and shit and there must be about I don't know about ten ten little orbs floating around in the sky and now they're doing some kind of other random shit and I think they're kind of forming like cigar shapes um, which would kind of <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is I swear to god it's either like a weird ass collection of Chinese lanterns that just go on and on and on and on but the thing is it's the way in which they move that just gets me it, and the way in which they pulsate with their lights as they move away now maybe I'm just being slightly paranoid um, but at the end of the, the video it kind of they all I think it's like groups of five and it almost looks like you know the hungry caterpillar <laughs> they're moving across the night sky like a group of hungry caterpillars U-K-I-R-E. basically things have to be designed from first principles that um, that day-to-day expenses have to have to be funded uh, from from what is available and only capital projects are ever government should never ever issue bonds or guilt or anything unless it's for a capital project a real genuine capital project it should be completely illegal for them to ever ever issue debt for any other reason at all that's one of the basic principles we need to drum into the head to have a new start we must never ever have the situation again where people where governments run up debts in our name uh, or, or ongoing expense. In one way, another way you could look at anonymous is it eventually could rival the fucking welfare system. You know what I mean? It's just like, well, hang on a minute, you know, people that want to help, they want to give money to charity, these are the people that do need the help. We've got, you know, two of them. This is where you'll, you can really give to charity, you know, rather than give it into the 318 billion pot of um, Oxfam or whatever. Even though all these companies are good, don't get me wrong, lots of charities do great work. There is, there needs to be a more ground roots level, a more ground roots group. Uh, but now we're just looking on focusing on getting this station going, you know, getting more DJs on board, uh, expanding the audience and making it not just about Anon, but also about other activist groups, um, about, you know, even maybe people, I wouldn't mind people coming on that have a, an opposing view to Anon. You know, we wouldn't want just some idiot who's completely biased and that. You, we want, even us and most, you know, m- myself even, the most Anons, would have a biased view of Anon. That's what makes them Anon, you know? They sort of can uh, question everything. And even people that say, oh, it's an inside job, is it? It's like, well, if that is the case, then that means most of us, or myself, I must be an inside job and everyone must be. But, you know, it is always worth looking into because, you know, knowledge is power. All right, I'm going to put some more spiritualized into my music library. You can expect them. Good night. Thank you. Much love, light, and peace, guys. Take care. See you soon. Radio for the pirates. Radio for the pirates.